Well, we're really done. Good night. Good night. Well, comrades, I'm very happy that I decided to come here tonight carrying an in such high spirit. If anyone was in doubt that the People's National Party is coming together, if anyone was in doubt that the People's National Party is ready, then Karen and I showed them tonight that the People's National Party is serious about victory. Yeah. 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 When I look in the crowd, I know you have traveled far and wide. And the reason why you are here tonight, comrades, is that you know that we all believe in a common goal. And that common goal, comrades, is that we want to see a better Jamaica. Comrades, when you take a look across the length and breadth of our island, you realize that we are facing dark, dark, dark days. Once upon a time, comrades, it was one problem now it's two problems, three problems, now the labor rights, every single thing has become a problem. The idea is that we want to see a nation where everyone has equal opportunity. We want to see a nation where there are less poor people and there are people who now have the ability to purchase a home, have the ability to purchase a car, have the ability to afford themselves a decent standard of living. Comrades, yesterday I went to the supermarket and I took up the blue, the baby blue pack of the JF Mills flower. And when we look at the price of the flower, we see $304 for the little blue pack of JF Mills flower. Three months ago, we paid $150 for that little blue pack of flower. When we go to the market, comrades in Montego, we have a pound of red skelly and it's for eight hundred dollars, comrades. Couple months ago, I paid four hundred dollars. When I took up a pound of onion, comrades, the pound of onion was four hundred and fifty dollars. Couple months ago, I paid two hundred dollars for that one pound of onion, comrades. Then I hear on the news the government said that inflation is less than 10% comrades but when I check it, food inflation is more than 100% comrades. What is happening in Jamaica? Comrades, I don't feel it as much for us as I feel it for the little old lady in Tenant who received a pension of $4,000 and is expected for the month to buy a pound of scallion for 800, a pound of onion for 400, two packs of flour for 700. Comrades, before she come out of the supermarket, the money done, she must have cried. The government come out and they say that the unemployment rate. I don't know how much of you know about economics, but it means that the people who have offered them, themselves to work but are not working, the unemployment rate is 4.5 percent. This is in the coverage, quiet down. The unemployment rate is 4.5 percent, meaning that only 4.5 percent of the people who offer themselves to work have not been working, and they're making a big deal out of it, you know. Because the Jamaican economy has become an economy on paper to please the IMF and the World Bank. But as there is no real economy that we Jamaicans are being pleased by, we are suffering. What the government has not told you is that even though the unemployment rate is 4%, more than half of the population has decided not to offer themselves for work because they don't see it make any sense. So a person prefer calling cousin in America and begging the $100 and go a factory to work for $10,000 a week. What kind of economy is this we are creating for a nation of such remarkable people? Come when I see Jamaica and I see our beautiful smiles and I know the level of industriousness that we have as Jamaicans when I see us across the length and breadth of the world, comrades, oh God, the government can do better. 
The government owes support a low unemployment rate commerce, but what the government is not highlighting is that from 2017 to 2021, the poverty rate, which is the amount of people in poverty commerce, has increased by 50%. That means we have more people working, but at the same time when more people are working, more people are getting poorer and poorer and poorer companies. The government have created a working class of poor people for Jamaica. And what kind of government are these people? They talk about PNP love the poor, but PNP love the poor to elevate them. Our oh, common leader, Mark Golden, is a start example of that. He came on the platform and he said that Jamaica, we are interested in rebuilding what we call the middle class of Jamaica. The JLP has forced our teachers into poverty, forced our nurses into poverty, forced our doctors into poverty, forced the lawyers into poverty. Party will create that change for you. Inflation is a problem, unemployment is a problem, poverty is a problem. The People's National Party is the solution. There is so much that we can say. I wrote an article in the Glean, I even forgot to share it. Sometimes I write so much, I don't remember about the things I write. It spoke about how to use technology to solve crime. Well, technology is not only a tool to solve crime. Jamaica went to Singapore and our team won gold medals in a robotics competition. The world is moving forward, corporate. Yeah, give them a round of applause. But this is where the world is going, comrades. The world is no longer sitting and waiting for these leaders who care not about our future to make waves for us. Jamaican people are taking everything in their own hands and are creating waves for themselves. But we need an enabling government. We need a government to believe in the power of the people, a government to believe in their ability to create change. Before we think about working, we have to think about creating wealth for a nation of social market people. And this PNP government is dedicated to infusing modern industries, infusing artificial intelligence in your farming, infusing technology, commerce, infusing the real world scenarios so that we can generate more income for the people of Florida and the people of Jamaica. Comrades, we have to fix the water issue. We have to fix the electricity issue. And those are the first two issues that we need to solve if it's the case that we want to be classified as a nation. The key pulling my shirts so as now that my time is drawing here, comrades, but I just want to leave you with one thing. I want you to see yourself as a person who is hopeful about what you can become because there's much work to be done. I want you when you leave here to go and spread the good news about what the People's National Party has planned for Jamaica. Comrades, you have work to do to save the youth in Canaanites who believe that he's better off with a gun in his hand than a book and attending university. I want you to go and spread the news to save the young lady over there in Salt River who believe that she must take abuse just because she wants to live a good standard of living comrades. The People's National Party is here to change Jamaica right in front of your eyes and create an economy where we have equal 